Hello everyone, today I will explain how to perform Gaussian reconstruction with LiGrip01 Lite or LiGrip H300 data. First, we need to perform data processing by creating a new SLAM project. Following the new project wizard, configure the single station processing project based on the originally collected data. When processing Gaussian data, it is recommended to select Noise Filter, Smooth Filter, and Range Filter during the processing. Note that point cloud coloring is necessary. For H300 device data, select Automatic Masking during the coloring process. After the data processing is complete, we close the SLAM project. Then switch to the Gaussian Reconstruction page. Click the Reconstruction button and select the LeeScan file from the previously SLAM project. Select the scene mode based on the actual data scenario. Model quality, higher model quality results in longer reconstruction times and larger model outputs, but with better effects. GPU memory requirements, the amount of video memory used during the reconstruction process. After setting the parameters, click to start the Gaussian reconstruction. The reconstruction process is relatively long, please be patient. After the reconstruction is complete, you will be prompted to open the reconstruction results. Then open the directory tree, navigate to the Gaussian reconstruction node, and right-click on the data to display it. The Gaussian reconstruction results will be displayed in a GS Viewer window. The operations for rotating, translating, and scaling the model in this window are the same as in the 3D window. We can also select the 3D linkage function on the Gaussian page. The two windows can maintain a consistent perspective for linked viewing of point clouds and Gaussian models. We can also select the Gaussian linkage in the panoramic page. This allows for linked display of the panoramic and Gaussian windows. The Gaussian window enables 3D measurements based on the model. It supports measurements such as single point, multiple points, length, height, angle, etc. Using the selection and cutting tools, you can edit the Gaussian model. In the Gaussian window, you can also draw 3D vectors. The Gaussian model can also be converted to the universal PLY format. The above is an introduction to the overall process and functions of Gaussian reconstruction. Thank you for watching.